The Lexus LC500 is a dream car, it's a dream machine that has a beautiful 5 liter V8 engine. The design is unique, it is timeless design. But what's really astonishing about the LC500 is the way it's produced. The factory consists of Takumi specialists that literally hand build this LC500. Let's go and take a look how this amazing LC500 is being built right here at the Motomachi. The most exciting part of my Motomachi factory tour has arrived and that is the tour of the legendary and the beautiful Lexus LC. You can see the final finish coming off the assembly line. You can just walk with me here. And this is the special custom built Lexus LC production. It's a very uh, small area. It's not massively produced car. They only produce 18 cars a day. And this area is only big enough to hold about 22 Lexus LC. You can see all the cars coming off. It starts over here and it runs that way. It comes around and comes off. That's the final finish. Now, interesting enough, things like the actual paint and so forth is shared with other Motomachi factory products. So the paint area is the same. It goes through the same paint line as other models that uh, are being produced here. Uh, but in the body shop where all the welding takes place, that's separate. Uh, and of course, this part is all separate. Very interesting things are happening here. This is a specialized assembly line. We have the engine, the chassis, the final inspection, rear suspension, and also trim, as well as roof insulation. Right here is the roof insulation. You can see the Nori Green LC convertible there, but that's not the point. The important thing is the carbon fiber roof insulation in the back. You'll see some stuff hanging on top of the cars. Those are heaters designed to heat up the adhesive so that the carbon fiber can properly be glued onto the actual body of the car. So they heat the thing for almost up to 60 minutes, if you could believe it, to make sure that the glue is at the right temperature, then they drop the carbon fiber. You can see the Nori Green convertible, you can see the white coupe here, you can see the Inspiration Series, matte white LC, and if you keep on walking, you can also see the new ultrasonic blue Mica 2.0, that's new for 2024, and what I would consider to be one of the most beautiful color, which is a Nori Green Lexus LC convertible with a tan top. Well, that combination is a killer. Very small line, and some of the best production workers work here because the quality has to be the best of the world. So I'm standing right in the middle of the Lexus LC factory here. You can see the car coming off the assembly line, as I mentioned. It keeps going this way, goes all the way to the back, turns around, and come back. But one of the interesting things he pointed out to make sure that these Lexus LCs are produced to perfection is this system right here. A couple of things to keep in mind. One is that each uh, station has this tablet, basically an iPad system that shows a sequence of work that they have to do. This sequence of work actually will show progress all the way on the top here, tells you exactly what you have to do one by one. And if you try to do something out of sequence, or if you miss a step altogether, it will give you an error and it will not allow you to continue your work. And even for something like this one here, which is a tool to tighten something, it has a built-in torque uh, pressure here so if you torque it and it's not correct amount it will give you an error as well but ultimately the most important part of a Toyota production system are these two buttons one is yellow one is red and this is part of the Andon system which gives the production workers a power to stop the line if there's a problem if there is an issue they can't solve first they press the yellow button that's the button to call for help and then someone will go and uh, help them out usually a production leader if that doesn't solve the problem and then press the red button which is more important which is build a crisis and that will actually stop the line and by stopping the line they can ensure that no problems are carried over to the next line that is something unique to Toyota production system and that's what makes it so perfect. Now, interesting enough, each station takes 29.5 minutes to complete because it's a much slower production, it's a low volume. Compare that to the rest of Motomatch factory where the line actually moves every 104 seconds. So that one is basically less than two minutes. Uh, it moves off the line and every two minutes or so the car comes off the production but here it's every 29.5 minutes or almost 30 minutes because it's a slow production, custom built, literally hand built as you can see by some of the best Takumi specialists. 
a beautiful factory, so clean. You can literally eat off the floor here. Even the floor is shiny. And I think it's just, uh, you know what? It's an amazing factory that is truly, truly inspiring. So we are now at the crucial junction here, which is the engine installations for the Lexus LC. This thing moves pretty slowly right now, so you won't see it. It just finished installing the engine already, but they're getting ready for the next one that's gonna come off the line here. And as you can see, uh, they're going to move the car forward. The rear axle is also installed and he's going to be doing something. Now let's take a look what he's up to. He's got his own little trolley. That trolley is his own little island and he's able to install parts right below the car using the parts that's already on the trolley. The trolley has all the parts and tools he needs to finish his job. Let's take a look. Keep in mind that all of the torque wrench has a torque check built in. If he tightens it, it doesn't tighten to the right torque, it will give him an error. So every bolts and nuts is always done to the correct torque setting. It's gonna install some more here. Again, you might be surprised at how much manual labor is involved here. Well, that's part of the allure and the beauty of the LC because you can basically say it's hand-built, not everything obviously, but a lot of it is hand-built as opposed to other production line where things are built by machine or by robotics. This one, truly, truly hand-built, one by one by very experienced workers. So he just brought the trolley back. This is his basic uh, island of work. All the parts are there, all the tools are there. And you know what, these people build their own little system. This is not designed by some engineer off-site, but he gets to design his own little work area. And I think they're getting ready to move the car forward now. So let's take a look how that works. There's a little bit of music going on just to indicate that something is moving. That's often what they do. While we're waiting, I just want to point out to you all the other types of uh, a wrench and equipment here everything is again has the sensor built in to check for proper torque proper, proper setting and if you don't do it correctly it will give an error so the car is now moving this is the ultrasonic uh, convertible version of lexus lc moving along I'm not sure what the interior color is for now but uh, this is getting ready to get more parts installed and so now we're only halfway through the production line and it flips over to that side. Can you guys see this thing moving along here? This is called AGV or Automatic Guided Vehicles. It's moving by itself, there's no human interaction. It's running by itself based on computerized system and it is delivering parts or picking up parts. You can see all the parts are right behind us here and this red Lexus LC over behind the, um, all the parts are actually Canadian spec LC in a beautiful, beautiful bright color and you can see the part of the uh, Lexus LC comes all the way to the beginning, comes around and over on the other side is where they secure all the parts and the parts are delivered here by the AGV. So very interesting production system. Well here is the actual order sheet. This is what specs the car. It tells you everything including the internal components and so forth. As you can see these parts correspond to what goes into each of the Lexus LC right here. But if you look carefully also the actual um, these trays that hold the parts have a little picture of the parts as part of a mistake proofing. We call that Pokayoka system right here as well. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch it, but you can see a picture of a component that's supposed to be here. So they lay it over there that comes from the kitting area. They take it from here and install it onto a car. So this is one system to keep everything in check, but this itself also has a picture to match the parts. And that's why they actually don't ever make a mistake because there's double system sometimes a triple system to make sure all the parts that are going to Lexus LC is the correct parts. Okay, so we just got onto the platform here with their permission. We're kind of halfway through the production. Well, actually maybe more like a three quarter of the way and they're beginning to install some of the trims. And these two people are working super hard and super fast to finish the job, but also to do it properly. And if you notice that um, he actually changed his gloves because uh, he picked up a part over here which you can kind of see the white pillar. This is the A pillar, which is a shiny plastic. And to install that pillar, he doesn't want to scratch it. So he actually put 
additional gloves on top of what he normally wears to push it onto the place. Um, and then he took the gloves off again. So you can see he's got, uh, he's got the gloves on right now, but that's the normal glove. He puts additional gloves just for the parts that are external to the car. And once again, they're installing parts one by one, following the sequence on the iPad to make sure nothing uh, is out of sequence. And they check and double check everything. You can see this interesting trolley with all the parts. And then the parts that goes into the car comes off the kidding area behind here uh, and they work at a, a very slow pace you know 30 minutes per car but when I watch it it looks like they're working super hard to me typical Japanese thinking Japanese worker standard and level of uh, work ethic it's just amazing how fast they work and yet the quality is truly world-class you can see um, he's installing a panel now in the back so you can see the car coming into shape slowly but surely uh, this one has the new white interior that's new for 2024 and uh, it, you know it just literally pops into place that's how easy it is it's got some clips on it and if for those of you who like to tinker with cars you will know that but most of these parts just pop in but the clips are designed in such a fashion that it holds in place securely and it doesn't squeak or rattle but that's all it's required and then uh, there's a little bit of nuts and bolts to uh, secure toward the top this is again a convertible version of Lexus LC and uh, they're pretty well done in the rear part. The car will continue to get more and more parts as we go along this line and you can see the final section over here. It goes through a final inspection and then there you go. That's the end of the production way over there. So we just moved like a two station forward here and they're installing the seats over here. It's a little bit hard to see uh, from here but you can see the seats coming on that side. All the seats are sequenced by VIN number to the correct car it comes from a supplier then they install it so you can see a uh, caviar black convertible here with a tan camel color interior they just finished installing the seat along with some other trims inside the car and uh, it will continue to move along the line at uh, the slow pace and he is going to install a few more parts i don't want to interrupt these guys uh, you'll see he's going to move the trolley and grab the next set of uh, seats so i think if you keep on watching uh, you'll see how they do it. He's going to grab the seat or get ready for the next part and then when the car comes over he'll, he'll install the seats as well. So he's picking up some more parts. Let me just see where he is going. He's putting things away and uh, he's getting ready to install what appears to be a steering actually. So that's uh, the camo colored steering. He's making sure everything is uh, getting ready there. He took some of the covers off. He's putting on some of the buttons with the steering. That's done manually. He's checking for quality, make sure everything is okay. He's got a few things to install. And he double checks everything. And he's going to get ready. Oh. I guess he's telling him to go ahead and do the next sequence, right? I believe there is an actual time limit for each sequence of work and he has to do it within that time. So to keep the pace, that's why they don't ever fall behind the schedule. He's getting ready to install, I think, the steering. He's going to grab the steering, so he's going to go to the other side. Let's take a look what he's doing. Uh, and he is getting... He's basically, if you notice, he's clicking on a tablet because he's instructing the system that I'm moving to the next step. So every step they have to check in to make sure that they haven't skipped a step, that they haven't missed the sequence, uh, and he's gonna continue to install some parts. Well, actually, he's gonna install the door now. So the door has to be aligned, and the machine will make sure that it is aligned perfectly, and uh, nothing can be out of alignment, obviously. So he's getting the door ready. Uh, because Lexus LC is kind of like a, a manual hand-built car, uh, there's lots of equipment to help with the process, but as you can tell, it is still a fair amount of work. I just noticed that guy over there right now, he's checking for quality, he's got a special lamp, checking for any kind of defects or scratches or any kind of uh, pigmentation issues. They're checking very, very carefully because that is the final inspection lines. So let's go take a look over there. So now we are finally at the end of Lexus LC line. 
there is an inspection, quality check, an audit happening, you can tell they check for everything, the parts fit, the quality of the parts, the paint, every single piece of the part is actually checked and double checked. And in fact, they have a different group that's just doing the quality check to make sure that there is an over redundancy of checks and balances. You can see the Inspiration Series one right here in the matte white with the dark blue top, beautiful color, beautiful combination. And he is not only checking, but he's also clicking on the iPhone because he's basically saying, this is okay, this is okay. And he goes through a series of inspection. And you know what, it, take, it takes him a half an hour here, it takes him a half an hour over there to check. And that's why, you know what, you can't find a Lexus LC with a problem because in an hour of checking, in addition to every single worker making sure everything's installed correctly. But this is the end of the Lexus LC line. I'm just inspired and really humbled to be here in the presence of a great car, but also in presence of great people who is making sure that the Lexus LC is indeed the best built, highest performing Lexus and perhaps the highest performing car in the world. So it just so happens that they went on for a coffee break right now for a short time. The line is stopped nice and quiet. You can see the Nori Green coupe right here, beautiful color, beautiful car of course. But one of the interesting things he mentioned to me is that uh, all the production work here are obviously the best of the best, top production workers who really know how to build high quality cars for Lexus, especially being an LC. But he also said that they allow some of the newer members who's not as experienced to actually work on the LC line as well. And that is to give them an opportunity to be coached by the senior members so that they can continue to transfer knowledge from the very experienced to the next experience. Obviously, everything is guided by the top people, senior members, and therefore you'll never see a squeaks or rattles on the Lexus LC. Everything is built to a high standard, uh, but they also want to mix a little bit of a newer members, less senior people, so they can experience the, the art of producing Lexus, so they can become a future Takumi. And I thought that was actually a really interesting thing that they do, and also uh, that allows Lexus to have a more of a balanced workforce. And that is one of the secret sauce behind Toyota production system, which allows everyone to be involved and to be engaged and to learn from the best so that no one is left behind. I think it's a beautiful philosophy in front of a beautiful car. I love being here. I'm ever so thankful and I can't wait to come back. Maybe when they build my Lexus LC. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Lexus lineup, especially this LC right here. Ask me some questions, give me a thumbs up if you can. And if you haven't subscribed yet, would you kindly do that so you can see more of these special features and special tours that I'm doing right here in Japan.